Hi guys, I'm Crystal Sky, and today we have Inktober Day 19 and Day 20. Um, so this is kind of an interesting idea. I wanted to have another two character before Inktober was over. And the idea behind these two characters is a mother and son. And they're off on some sort of journey. That was the, the initial idea. I'm going to do a um, kind of a bluish background here. Just a really messy kind of cloud-like bluish background because I want to have them connected in some way that isn't just color scheme related. So that's that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> but uh, it's a mother and daughter, uh, mother and daughter, a mother and son, which again is is kind of interesting. And I was originally going to do a mother and daughter, but I liked the idea of a mother and son better because that dynamic is hardly ever um, explored really and I felt like it would be good a good kind of dynamic to explore so let me explain the uh, the little kid character first and then we'll go into the mom so they're going on a journey they're in hiding it's a very naturist journey um, so they're outside a lot and uh, it's cold they're in a cold place and of course they're traveling they've got backpacks and everything and they're traveling very much um, the young boy is smart he would be considered a genius in general terms but he doesn't really get a chance to express that in any way because again he's out here in the middle of nowhere essentially kind of uh, following his mother out into the wilderness uh, I've got a lot of fur here I actually went a little bit into the fur uh, we're gonna give them kind of ridiculous hair colors, almost like they're trying to hide and stand out at the same time. That's kind of the goal there. Of course, they're gonna have the same hair hair color. If you went into hiding with your mom, would you have the same ridiculous hair hair color, <laughs> like a blue? Um, anyway, so he's really smart, but he doesn't get to show it because he doesn't go. He's traditionally smart. He's book smart, and. Uh, he doesn't go to school because, of course, they're on the run and they're living in nature. And he doesn't have time to show any of his general um, prowess. So, it's, it's unbeknownst to pretty much everybody that he is smart. Very smart. Because he's not street smart, he's book smart. Um, he's, I kind of designed him to be like a puffball type character. I was thinking of um, like a very little kid. And like a really puffy jacket. That was kind of the idea behind that. And then we will talk about the mother. So she got into some trouble. Not from like a government, but from a, a bad group of guys. Right? Um, her maternal instinct kicked in at some point, And she decided that her son couldn't live where they were living together. She had to protect him, and that was the, the whole goal, goal between going into hiding. So she decided she was once a, um, a very well-respected mountain survivalist, and so she decided she was going to go out into the wilderness and uh, bring her son with her, and they were going to live there. I'm going to give them kind of jeans, even though it matches the background, but I'll give it a different uh, color after the first wash. If I can. Kind of lighter. So that was the goal. They're hiding from bad people. Very bad people. And they're, the mother decided they were going to live out in nature. So that they couldn't find him. Because, you know, most of the bad people are city folk. I guess in her opinion would be. She's very overprotective of her little son. And of course they're on the run so she has to be. And she's pretty smart. She's a survivalist in nature. And no one gets to see how smart her son is. Because he is very smart. But just like I said, book smart. I'm sure the story would progress them living in a cabin that she built herself in the middle of the woods. And anybody who approached would be um, a danger to herself and her son. But, you know, she would invite them in cautiously. They're so far off the map that it's probably not a super danger if they find a hunter or something. And it, the story would progress just in that one house with this one little family. And eventually we'd see how that would play out for both of them. So he's going to grow up eventually and 
you know, she's on the run, so will she ever be able to get back? And that would be the story. What do you guys uh, think about kind of an on-the-run type story like that? Uh, I don't normally do stories like that, actually, where it's one scene. I usually go overboard with a whole bunch of different places because uh, I can make a story in any place as long as I have my imagination. And uh, my imagination is pretty wild. Like a bucking bronco horse. Nuts. Anyway, I have them have a little bit darker skin color. Maybe they came from like a really hot place and now they're in a cold place. If you were a little kid, you'd be pretty scared. Like, he's pretty scared. But he trusts his mom, you know. Do you trust your mom? If I were that little, I'd probably trust my mom no matter what. So that's kind of the, uh, the feeling here. I've never really, I, you know, it's not really explored the dynamic between mother and son, especially in a strenuous situation, so I thought that would be interesting. Thought that would be interesting. This fur up here on her is just not so good, and then the fur on him is good on the bottom. That's what I was going for on the bottom, and then it just kind of got too much color. So we're just going to brush that around a little bit. So yeah, this is two days in one. I'm kind of a, a fan of doing that sometimes. And again, these characters were concepted together. Let's do a darker green for his scarf. Like almost like a nature green. Imagine them disappearing into just the forest. That's kind of what I picture. I really want to do like a brown with like some water to water down. There we go. Oops. Really big laced up boots and little brown shoes for the boy. And so yeah, I want to do a yellow backpack. Let's see if I have time. She's got a backpack here. Oh, I missed the uh, frill on her coat. Alright, we got a yellow backpack. And then a little bit of frill to do on the coat up here. That's better. Alrighty guys, so those are two days done in the same at the same time. So I'm I'm pretty happy with that. But again, they were joint characters and I wanted to have them together no matter what. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys for day 21. We're getting there and we've got like nine days left. <laughs>